I'm not gonna lie to you. I was expecting a lot when it comes to HDR in Starfield, probably way too much. I was expecting way too much. As always, when we're talking about AAA releases, I was expecting proper quality. I was expecting a proper HDR implementation. But what I'm experiencing at the moment on the Xbox Series X and the same counts for the S, that's HDR at the moment. And we're talking about this in detail a little bit later, but what I'm experiencing at the moment, I don't know, that's, sorry to say this so harsh, but that's a big disappointment. That's an absolute joke. And I'd like to make this very, very clear. We're just talking about the HDR implementation in this game. We are not talking about the channel equality in this game. We're not talking about sound, graphic, whatsoever. Just HDR implementation, okay? So far what I played from the game and it was really not much because I'm really busy with testing. But so far what I played from the game, I'm actually really surprised because even the 30 FPS, it doesn't bother me as I was expecting, okay? It's still 30 FPS and I played the game already on the PC and it's much, much better with more than 60 FPS. But it is actually really really good and the graphical quality and yeah now we're talking about graph but just quickly it is really good the hdr implementation on the other hand and this is just terrible because not just because of the crazy hdr black level race what we have in this game and i have the feeling this is even worse than cyberpunk even worse than cyberpunk not just because of this also, these specular highlights are just completely missing when you start yeah, the game with HDR. Okay, so I found a couple of very weird issues with this game when you start the game with HDR. But believe me, SDR, and we're talking about this in a second, is not better. Really not better. So when we're talking about a very washed out picture, which doesn't look too bad here, but on my example, you can clearly see how bad or how washed out the picture is actually. And not just in HDR 10, also in Dolby Vision and also in SDR. And yeah, when we're now talking about SDR a little bit, um, there is just one option actually on the PC. We can't start the game on the PC in HDR at all. It just doesn't do it. So it looks like there's either no HDR support on the PC or it is just terrible broken on the Xbox and it was never meant to be in HDR on the Xbox. So I'm not quite sure what's going on here. But when we have a look in the actually settings menu, you can actually see there is nothing in terms of HDR. All what we have is film grain intensity, enable motion blur or enable and enable depth of field. That's all, but there's also a little bit of a weird behavior on the start screen. So on the start screen, when you wait until the sun rises here actually, you can actually see that the game is capable of outputting 1000 nits. That's the maximum peak brightness what I found so far in this game. And this is actually really interesting because at the beginning I was thinking, hey, this game actually supports the HDR system level calibration on the Xbox because LGG2 set to 1000 nits maximum peak output on the console. But I changed the settings to 2000 and it's still just outputting 1000 nits. As soon as the sound comes up, you can actually see how it goes to 1000. So this is absolutely weird because when we continue or when we play or when we in the game, the maximum peak brightness is limited to 400. So as soon as we are back in the game, maximum peak brightness, regardless where we're looking at, very bright spot, limited to around 400, 441 at the moment. When we're looking here, very, very bright, or it appears to be bright, but maximum is 440 nits. Regardless of what I set on the PlayStation, there's no way I can change this actually. Of course, when you play an SDR, then the maximum peak brightness is lower, but in general, SDR looks just a little bit better. But if you now think that SDR is much, much better compared to HDR, then you are unfortunately wrong because in terms of the HDR black level rays or SDR black level rays, I have to say, there's almost no difference. It's just a little bit less because you're not having this um, maximum peak brightness from your screen. You're just limiting the peak brightness. But let's say if you play this game in SDR, there is also 
some sort of elevated black levels all the time. And again, you can't change this because you have zero settings at all. We have nothing. So at this moment, I just hope that this is some sort of a bug and it can be fixed because yeah, something doesn't look right at all. Because usually when you have HDR black level rays, you have proper specular highlights in terms of the maximum peak brightness. This is not the case in this game. It's absolutely wrong. That's why I just hope that you can easily fix this. Not just in terms of the HDR black level rays, also in terms of the missing specular highlights. The PC version, as far as I can tell, does not support HDR at all. And if you now think, yeah, that's not a big problem because we know it's terrible broken on the Xbox, SDR on the PC is not better than SDR on the console. That means you have also crazy elevated black levels all the time. And there's also no way that you can actually change any settings, just graphical settings, but nothing in terms of your visuals or your display contrast brightness settings. There is nothing what you can do. It runs very well on my PC, but in terms of picture quality, because of the elevated black levels, it looks awful. Okay, so what is my conclusion now? My conclusion is HDR and SDR is, is broken in this game. HDR even more than SDR, but I haven't seen such a bad SDR implementation in ages, to be very honest. HDR, I mean, I'm very, very surprised that it is that bad actually, because we have literally no specular highlights or they're kept to around 440 candela nits, which in my opinion is just a bug. But how can this happen? How can this happen after 50 years in development? And you know what I mean? How can this happen? How can you have such a very bad HDR implementation? And how can you have such crazy elevated black levels and that's just SDR at the moment? How can you have this? This looks absolutely awful. And this at the moment looks even, or how should I say, this actually looks not too bad compared to other parts, compared to the very beginning of the game where you have a very dark, and I don't want to spoil so much, you know, that's why I'm just showing this here. But in the very beginning of the game, you can clearly see something is terrible off. Here at the moment, if you have not a very well-trained eye, you would actually think, oh, that's fine. That's, that's how it is, but it's not, okay? So I'm very disappointed about this. Uh, I just hope we will see a patch soon, because in terms of game, in terms of the gameplay, in terms of the graphical quality, okay, not visual quality because this is really terrible, but about uh, when we're talking about details, about uh, the texture quality and stuff like that, I really do like it. I really think that's a great game and I like to explore a little bit more, but not when a game looks awful like it is. And again, this is just because of the SDR, HDR implementation. In general, the game looks actually not too bad. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Um, if you maybe have a completely different opinion, then let me know. I'm looking forward to have a proper conversation about this. And yeah, again, I say thank you very much for watching me. I see you next time. Bye.